Hi there, I'm Peter Millard and in the workshop this week I've got a quick tip for you involving sliding squares and plastic packers. That's coming up next. Yes, I'm pretty sure I haven't mentioned this as a standalone tip before, but I, I know I've mentioned it in passing in other videos. I kind of forgotten about it. I, it's something I do almost uh, without thinking these days, but I had a couple of questions about it when I did my, if you saw the MDF table build, it was at the end of my sort of vlog style video. Uh, a couple of people were saying, oh, what, were you, what were you doing with that packer and that uh, combi square? Uh, I thought it's probably worth mentioning now, uh, because again, uh, I'm aware of the fact that the channel's grown quite a lot and not everybody will have seen all the back catalogue. So forgive me if you, if you do know this, uh, feel free to move on uh, and catch up with me at the next video. But if you don't know this, it's a good trick to have, especially when you're using a track saw. Now, track saws are pretty amazing bits of kit. They're accurate and they're versatile. I should probably do a workshop about that, shouldn't I? It's coming. Um, one of the best things about them, of course, is all you need to do when you make a cut is just mark a line. Put your rail against it. And then you're good to make your cut. The only problem that you get with these is that sometimes you need to work on the waist side of the cut, especially on a narrow rip. Like when I was doing the table legs uh, for that table, I make the, the legs out of a single sort of U or N piece. So a big sheet of MDF with the, the middle cut out basically. And there just isn't enough space to have the rail uh, onto the good side. So you're cutting on the waist side. And one of the things that I do rather than trying to accommodate the thickness of the saw curve with a measure, I actually use a two millimeter packer for this. Uh, it's really quick and it's really easy. The blade in the Festool TS55 and in most track saws is around about uh, two millimeters. It's actually 2.2 in the Festool. I've got a two millimeter packer and I've got my sliding square, my combi square set to the correct uh, width that I want the, the leg to be. And all I do is I put the packer between the combi square and the rail. And I can just set that easily. And then I can make my cut. There's no measuring to a pencil line or anything like that. Now, obviously, these are two millimeters and the blade kerf is 2.2 millimeters. Uh, that fifth of a millimeter, that point of a millimeter is spread either side of the cut line, of course. So we're actually working to a tenth of a, mil of a millimeter. Um, if that's not accurate enough for you, well, <laughs> you're probably watching the wrong channel, to be honest. Uh, I've, done this, I've done this for years and years and years and haven't had any problem. Uh, but that's just a really quick, simple, easy way to set your guide rail to a cut line without using a pencil line, without measuring or marking. Yeah, and that really is all there is to it. A two mil plastic packer uh, and a combination square gets you repetitive accurate cuts on narrow rips when you're cutting the wrong side of the cut line with a plunge saw. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, links to both of these things are down in the description below. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you found it useful uh, and I'll see you next time. Take care.